Yo, dude. What day is it? It's October. Dirty magazine day. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Dirty Magazine Day. Today we are looking at Case Style. This is from December 2017, as you can see there. This is the K-Girls. There are 50, 50 chicks in this. Brand new wheels, 38 cars. We've got uh, Hong Kong Meeting, 660 GT, whatever that is, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Over we go. We've got some wheels here from El Mar, Klein Form. Uh, what do you think? I'm a big fan of dish, but you don't see a lot of dish on K cars, unfortunately. The offset's really uh, not set up for that. Over here we've got the Maverick 815Fs, a 15 spoke fin design model. Not bad, not bad. Digging it, digging it. Okay, let's keep on cruising. This is quite a thick magazine, so we will have to cruise through fairly quickly, otherwise we'll be here for hours. DAD have got some accessories for you multi-dash mats, then we've got seat covers. Don't really dig seat covers personally. Over we go. That's looking quite slick indeed. Butterflysystem.com, check them out. Um, yep, yeah, I do, I do like that wheel. Quite a bit of gear. gun meta, got gun, gun meta polish. There you go. Okay, over we go. 2018-01-12. We're going to get Auto Salon. Right, okay. Keep on cruising. We've got some uh, pink camouflage over here on... Is that... Is that a Hustler? Hmm. I can't really tell. You might think I know all of the K-Cars, but I actually don't. There's a lot of them I don't... No, because there are so many of them. So, yeah, to me that kind of looks like a hustler, but it might not be. Let's keep cruising. Over we go. We've got Old Love with the VRX2, the greatest snow tire in the world, apparently. Then we have a contents page over here. You can check that out. The K-Girls 2017, 50 chicks. Hopefully they're wearing their sneakers in the front and high heels in the back. Over we go. Right, we've got a Suzuki thing. It's a Jimny-ish um, thing. Looks like some kind of concept called the E-Survivor. Quick scanning, quick scanning, CG, so it's probably not a real thing. But I'm not going to read too much into that. What do you think? Do you like it? It kind of reminds me of an old Corvette, the lines. But it's going to be a no from me. <clears throat> this looks much better. That looks dope. Okay. Okay. Okay, over we go. Next up, we've got more Suzuki's, which is pretty cool. The outdoor... Um, I guess style. I'm not sure what I guess style is, but that's pretty nice looking. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Butterfly system again over here. Over we go. The K Girls 2017. 50 girls. Over we go. Here she is, number one, girl number one, the Tanto Custom from Miho, Miho-san. There she is, high heels, so she won't be driving, she'll be getting in the back, if we've learned anything from K-Car magazines. A full orange interior on this one, 
completely worked. We've gone with orange mats, full orange interior. What do you think? I think it's a lot of work to get that done. Personally, a lot of work. I wonder how well it, uh, it lasted because this was 2017, 2018, and plastic doesn't really like being painted from my experience. So I wonder how it's lasted. We haven't gone as far as to do the seat belt, but that's just being picky, isn't it? Over we go. She's looking very cute in the back here. Nice, all right. Blood type is, she's A. I can't read the horoscope. Um, yep, she's 23 years old. There you go. Oh, what is she? Is she? Something's 23. That might be the car. Yeah, the car's 23. Um, yeah, 23. Not 23 years old, but the 23rd year. Don't know how old she is. The heels. Check it out. They've even featured them. The dress. Fashion points. All right. Okay, over we go. Next up, we have a Mira Cocoa Anna. Cocoa Anna, that is cute in pink and absolutely slammed. Very nice. I'm scanning around. I don't see her name anywhere. Not seeing it. It might be Anna, actually. It might be Anna. That might be Anna. Okay. We've gone for Roof Rack Star. How do you feel about Roof Racks? I kind of dig it. I don't know why, really. This is like a, uh, a mini. Mini style. Like, you know, like a old mini. Before they went to BMW and made it a biggie. We've got some a few little engine mods here. Looks like we've got a cold air intake that's on the top of the engine that won't actually get cold air. The fitment here is uh, on point if you're into that sort of thing. Not very practical though, but I think it's cute. What do you think? Let's have a look. Over we go. Are we in the same car? We are in the same car. So this is the same year car. It's a, uh, a Mira Cocoa. We've gone for a pink and white striped sort of seats here with blue. You know I'm into the 80s. I dig it. I think this is actually nicer than the all orange. There's more colors and the, the fact that they haven't done the seat belt kind of doesn't stand out as much. We've got this huge rear view mirror up the top there. Classic JDM style with the flip up steering wheel and the perfume on the dash we've gone for a heel very cute cute shoes we might have to do a shoe contest at the end flipping back what do you like are you liking um the straight black heels or are you liking these ones what do you think who wins next up 50 we've got this is 50 girls uh anketo so this is like a survey of things they've asked us a whole bunch asked the girls a whole bunch of things and they've answered the questions if you would like to pause and zoom in and use your google translates to do that go for it so all right a simple stance VIP number one is simple USDM number seven two point one percent okay it's all very it's all very very isn't it really okay let's keep going keep going what do we have here we've got a little Honda we have a Honda life what do you think of that I really dig the lights in the front bumper I think that's cool the fitment's really nice, super low. The exhaust tips are well done. I'm not sure about four exhaust tips on a three-cylinder, but uh, okay. Each to their own. Over this side, it looks like we've gone for a black roof. Dig that. Yep, it's a, just a good-looking car. What are we doing for shoes? Maybe we'll find out on the next page. 
We we are wait no they skipped her shoes. Go back. We've gone for a black shoe with a, a gold heel and kind of stripey. That's quite nice and stylish. Yes, 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 yes. Inside the car, we've gone for a, like a brownie red kind of maroon style mat on the floor there. We're looking fairly... I'm not sure if that's standard interior, but if it's not, they've done a really good job in my opinion because to me it kind of looks standard, but might not be. I think they've gone for seat covers, maybe. Don't really dig seat covers covers as such fashion points we've got a bag um, some ring things and glasses it's a JB5 the car for those playing at home more um, more surveys over here more chicks to check out I guess we probably shouldn't have skipped that other page as quickly as we did all, all loves here so maybe we'll get to see more of these in the coming pages find out later on over we go 660 yuki make some noise that outfits making some noise I tell you that what do you think of the shoes though um, not my favorite shoe not my favorite shoe I must say well she's gone for a 660 looks like we've gone with uh, t37 wheels here in is it the convertible I think it is the convertible hard to tell from here but I think it is I'm five foot nine and my head hit the roll bar, so um, yeah, we're talking about the comparisons between NSX and 660 there. There she is looking sexy as hell. It's all it's all nice. We've gone for a little rear wing on the back here, fashion points, ripped jeans, key ring with a whole bunch of stuff hanging off it. And uh, JW5 again, that's a bit weird. What's going on there? Base car 660 JW5. What was the other one we looked at? Was that a JW5? That's a JB5. I'm not sure what those are. If you know, let me know in the comments. Okay, okay. We haven't got a lot of interior shots of this car, which is a bit weird. More surveys over here. There's the Cocoa again. Some um, interesting whips going on there. All K cars, of course. Over we go. First up, shoes. Yep, we're all running a similar style shoe, really. It was just that one set of sandals that really stood out. Move, custom, and what's her name? Masa, Masami. Masami K. Masami Chan. Check her out. There she is. Yep, what do you think of the car? Well, she's low. It's very stylish, very simple, but not much to talk about really. I'm not sure those are standard headlights, so I don't really know. The, the front bumper's definitely not OEM, and the side skirts are not either. I'm guessing the rear bumper won't be either. What car are we actually dealing with here? It's a move, a Daihatsu move. There you go. So... It's a grill, KLC grill, looks like. Yep, and side skirts and what not. Over we go, over we go. This, wow, we've gone full spread on this one. I wonder why. Let's find out. Fitment. We've got LEDs in the back here. We've got a, we're super, super low with this rear bumper here. It is a sick looking car. You, you, there's no denying that, is there? Fashion points, we've got a watch, a necklace, and a little funky hat with some candy perfume. Awesome. Stereo system, we've gone for that 2000s look where the speaker's exposed and it looks like some of the components are exposed in the door there. It looks like it, but it's actually not. I think that's just the design. We've gone for an A-pillar tweeter. Full white interior with airbags. Um, is it airbags or is it hydraulics? Hmm, compressor. It says compressor, so probably airbags. What do you think of the interior? Let's have a look at the seat belts. I'm not a fan of the, the uh, black line or blue line through the roof there. You might be, that might be your thing. Not really for me. Yep. Okay, I think we've seen enough of that. 
Over we go. Wagon R. Rena. Rena. Check out the shoes. Very, very similar to uh, two of the other sets of shoes. Outfits are all different, of course. We couldn't have two of those the same. What do you think of the Wagon R? Obviously, we've got a different front bumper. We've got different wheels. We're lowered. We've got uh, probably LED lights, some side skirts, and things. Sick looking car. A little bit simple, you might say, but simple is best. All black interior on the seats looks like, which is uh, the classic styling. Not a lot of effort, though. Yeah, case style. We've gone to the rear... What do you think of this diffuser style back here? I really like it. I think that's cool. The color's cool too. Hmm. I'm not really sure why. Fashion points. We've gone for a watch and necklace. An MH23S for those playing at home. That is actually an MH23S. I don't think we we mentioned what this one was, so we better go back and find that. Oh, it's an L17 L175S. That's what that thing is. Handles on the side. Okay, back, 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 back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Another survey of the ladies. I'm yet to find a lap arm. This is cool. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, another survey over here. What have we got? Anything worth mentioning? In particular, she was from earlier. Okay, on this page we've got Move and Arisa. Arisa is over here with a Move. Can't really see much of it yet. There it is in a small shot. It has a sunroof. We love sunroofs here at Garage K. So that is worth mentioning. Over we go. S, the same as the previous car, I believe. Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah, going back. Um, no, was it this one? The black, the white one, the white one, the white one, this one. L175S, same car. Same car. But uh, quite different. Look at that. This is a lot more, like, it looks like it's got a stand, standard bumpers on it. Standard lights. So I was right. These are not um, OEM lights. There you go. What do you think? This one or this one? I'm actually kind of uh, digging this one a little bit better. Personally, the wheels are dope. Less done to it, though, but sunroof. Uh, fashion points. It looks like we've got some kind of stuffed toy on the dashboard there. Um, it all looks very tastefully done. Nothing out of the ordinary, really. We've slammed it, put big wheels on it, and done maybe seat covers, maybe door trims. What is it? A radar detector. So, uh, yeah, that's um, that's really that. Okay, over we go. On this page, we've got another uh, enquête or survey. I believe it's the uh, lady from the front cover, actually. Mm -hmm. We've met her before previously. Okay, over here, Stingray with Ika N. A I K A Ika. Ika N. Right. It's a very smooth front. We've got knee high boots. Nice. Okay, I'm not sure how you go driving with a heel that big, though. But, um,. Hey, I ain't, I ain't complaining. Looks fantastic. Right, how, what about the car? What about the car? We've got LED and uh, projector headlights, fancy tips, uh, wheels. We've got wheels. We've got interior detail, all purple with pink inserts and white seats. I'm not a big fan of white seats, but this works. I would never want to own a car with white seats. Accidents happen. So, yeah, white seats is going to be a, a never for me. Black, brown if you have to, blue maybe, pink, but never white. 
the car, more about the car. What do you think? I think it's quite slick. It's smooth lines. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Fashion points. What are we point? I'm not sure what we're pointing to here. Might be the grill or the headlights. We're talking about the jacket here. Mm, the long boots. The long boots. And oh, the one piece. The one piece dress. Which looks fantastic. Wonderful. This is another MH23S. For those playing at home, if you'd like to know what the car was, it's a, uh, a Wagon R Stingray MH23S. Over we go. What have we got here? Um, Mardu. I'm not sure what that is. But we got dudes, not just chicks. So. Daisuke. Um, I don't know. Don't know what the kanji is, so uh, Pyo Pyo, if you want to help me out, uh, let me know what the kanji is. No something, and then Tachi no. So the girls, the thing, the things that the girl, K girls love. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Thing that the girl, K girls love. Over here, Neo Flipper. Neo Flipper? Right. Okay. Okay, okay. Over we go. More. Oh, because it's winter. It's December. That's why they're advertising all the studless tires. I see. Yeah, Nankangs. What do you, how do you feel about Nankangs for your studless tire? Me, personally, I just go for the Blizzax. Okay. Voltec. Voltec. They look like very generic K-car wheels. Not a fan at all. Over we go. Put in some effort, I think. Here we go. Those don't look like normal wheels, but I'm not really a fan of those either with the Hustler. Over here, we've got Wake Up Sports Mind, the R version. Again, fairly generic looking wheel. I mean, it's, yep, yeah, okay. Over we go. Parts from Sense Brand. Yep, it's all there in picture. Don't really need me. Don't really need me to go into that. Over here, D up. Ashimura suspension, or audio tuning, and things. So what are we doing? We're doing exhaust under here. Lights. Looks like some suspension work here. We're talking about tires over here. We're not going to stay too much on the black and whites. We have ads. Ads for stuff. How do you feel about the ads? We've got... They never have stuff for my car. That's a given. Exhaust tips. Uh, intake type stuff. Roll bars. This is all a lot newer than uh, my K-Truck. Will it fit? Maybe. But a roll bars for the back is $450 odd dollars, so can't really go on a maybe, can I? Okay, over we go. Event check. These events are well gone because it's 2018, so we will not stay here. Nagano. Nagano tire, headlights trim pieces king of k car selection special king of k car special collection maybe yeah it's very smooth looking car again a very smooth looking car slammed like it's slammed i kind of hate the way they do that throws me off clan cord blast japan this is a couple's car. Pink. I'm a fan of pink. That's cool. Over we go. The King of K car. That looks like a Dahatsu naked. Am I right? The doors would suggest it is. Is that what it is? An L750S naked. Yes, it is. That is probably the coolest naked I have ever seen. That is dope. Used 
its blocky advantage to its advantage. Like, it's got a little ducktail on the back of it with an extra wing. That's sick. Love that. We're dealing with smooth with wheels here. It's a nice looking car, MH34S, but I don't know, I'm not seeing... It's clean, it looks nice. I'd probably appreciate it better in real life. Let's say that. Down here, you bent debut. So the first time he's ever been to an event, an MH23S Wagon R. How do you like it? We've got the projector lenses, we've got eye lines, we've got a rear wing on the back. We love those. Missing a sunroof. Rear wings, eyelids, sunroofs, trifecta. Doesn't have the sunroof though. Anyway, over we go. Which way are we going? We're going all over the place, it looks like. Ooh, I spotted something. Okay. So next up, we're going to MH23S Wagon R. What do you think? Who's, uh, who's rocking it better? This thing's jacked up on blocks, slamming the wheels under there for Onicam. How do you feel about it? We've got Rec blue Recaros in there. Very clean underside of the car. That's why it's on blocks, so you can see it. Next up, down here, we have the HE22S Lapin, or Lapin, or Lape, Lapa, Lapa, which is actually French for rabbit, I found out last night on the live chat. Is this the SS model? Hard to tell, but I love what he's done with it. Looks much better than stock. Interior, not so much. I'm not a fan of brown. I think stock interior probably looks better than that. Wheels are great on it. Over here, moving over, an L375S Tanto Custom. How do you feel about it? Yep, it's a nice looking car. Still very smooth looking. All this is a little bit round for me. I this is this is my favorite car here. Look at the wheels. Those wheels are dope. Would love to get a set of those for something. I don't even know what wheels they are. Maybe we'll come back later and try to figure out what they are. Maybe we can figure it out now. XXR. The XXR wheels. I have to do a search for those later. XXR wheels. I want a set of those. I'm not sure what I'll put them on, but I love them. They're dope. Okay, back over here, what have we got? The LA150S Move Custom. This looks a lot like the new Nissan. I, the name is escaping me, but it looks very similar to it. So yeah, over here, we've gone to a lot of trouble on this L175S Move Custom. The airbrush work there is uh, kind of undeniable really huge wheels over fenders yep yeah, nice car keep on cruising over we go oh a k truck love seeing that that's a ha6 acti i follow this guy on instagram at least i did at some point green wall on the back dig it big 16 inch wheels dig it Super cool, like the sticker bomb along the bottom. You might think it's overplayed, but uh, I quite like it, so there you go. The HA6 Small King. Over here, we have a MH23S, very, very popular car. Looks like he's done everything DIY. It looks like it's got an aftermarket bumper, maybe an aftermarket grill interior he's done the interior himself that's not easy to do so hats off to you sir not too sure about your color choices but each to their own it, if it's cleanly done you can make any color look good down below we've got an l550 s we've gone for an extra long bonnet or hood so that it covers up part of the headlights Dig it. It's uh, an interesting looking car. Not what you would normally see. So thumbs up from me. Slammed. Over here onto the orange. A big intercooler. I wonder if it's connected. An L175S Move Custom. Big wheels with it a dished. We've got an intercooler on the front. I hope it's connected up. Although that is a massive, massive intercooler. So... 
it might not be. Down here we've got a L175S Move Custom again from Refine. We've got an Itasha bonnet on it, which is quite nice. The wheels are interesting. We've got more Itasha on the rear window, is it? Yeah, it's on the rear window. Yeah. I mean, I'm a bit of a fan of Itasha, so... Yeah, I'm a bit biased to it. The front bumper is just a big gaping hole. If you're into that, you might like the new Fair Lady. I think it's kind of cool, and I like the new Fair Lady. Over we go. What do we have here? We've got a DA63. DA63 carry truck that has been converted for camping. It's got a pop top on it, which is cool. Slide outside. Looks like bean bags in it and a rice... That's not a rice cooker. That's a... Uh, like a kettle boils the water. Down over here, the JB5 Life. It's a bit bubbly for me, if I'm honest. Just a bit bubbly. I'm not sure why we've got massive over fenders and the wheels are sticking so far in. Don't really get it. Over here, the other green machine. Oni Cam, I think that's ridiculous. I'm, I mean, we've gone full green interior. I can appreciate it, but I don't like it from the JB4 Life. What is it? Uh, tank. Hmm. Yeah, and that's going to be a no from me. HA36S. Yes. Probably the only modern K car I actually want. Over here, the L350S Tanto Custom. Black wheels, white wheels, not really sure. Oh wait, we've got black wheels on one side and white wheels on the other. Is that what we've done? Maybe. Still, cool looking car. Much nicer than that in my opinion. Although I do like the off-center uh, vent there. Reminds me of an Alto Works and you know how I feel about those. See, this has got it too. Yep, soft spot for that. They're not really, they haven't really done anything to it that I can see. So, no real props for that, but, I mean, it's a nice looking car out of the box anyway. So, over we go. What have we got? A Beat. Yep, undeniable. Awesome wheels. Would love a set of those. Can't find them. The PP1 for those playing at home, if you'd like to know what the code for a Beat is. Over we go, a three, sorry, an L350S Tanto Custom here. Again, we're slammed, looking like a minivan. Got some serious wheel tuck. We've done the interior. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on there. It might be something to do with how it's lowered, because it's very, very lowered. Simple, simple lines, smooth looking, just the, the right choice of wheel, the right fitment. Looks like a nice car. Down we go. Little Hummer. Mm, that's going to be a no for me. Blanket, blanket, no. It's not a Little Hummer. It's a naked. It's not a Hummer. Never be a Hummer. Over we go. We've gone for a sort of a bozo style here on the JD1. We've got the massive front bumper on it. If you're into that, let me know in the comments. This is the JD1. That's... That's. It's actually called a That's. So, from Honda. Over we go. We've got an MH34S Wagon R. Yeah, it's kind of... Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's not much to talk about with, with it, really. It's black. It's got some stuff done to it. But we'll keep going. An L375S Tanto Custom. Lots of mods done to this. The front bumper, you can see the wheels are cool. We're slammed. We've got shark gills on the front fenders. I mean, you're either going to like this style or you're not. I think it's pretty cool. But not something I would have. Over here, we've got an MJ21S AZ Wagon, which is, this is just a rebadged Suzuki Wagon R. I like what they've done with it. Slammed, huge over fenders. No longer K though, so I kind of feel like that shouldn't be in here. If you're going to put over fenders on like this, 
That's fine, because you can take them off and shuck in it. This thing's screwed. This will never be registered as a K car again. So it's not technically a K car, is it? No. Good, glad we agree. Over here, we've gone... This is cute. The eye lines on here. It's a chick's car. Of course it's cute. Here's her Instagram. Hashtag J-E-T-T-E-L-E. -E. So check that out. This is an L550S Move Latte. Very cute. I like what she's done with the eye lines over the... Or the eyelids over the top of the headlights. The wheel choice is very nice in my opinion we've got roof racks cool cool car over we go this this magazine's going to take hours i don't think we're even halfway I'm not sure what we've got here okay so we're up here this is heavily modified solid over fenders on an mh21 s wagon r again it's not going to be k anymore so i don't really see i don't think it belongs in this magazine that is that's not reversible which means it's got k plates on it now the next time he registers it it won't because they won't be able to register it with yellow plates so this car made it to the 2018 show and then was either crushed or there's no way they registered this as a as a regular car because the the cost doubles so I mean, did they? is this car still around? I'd love to know. Is it still around? Did they bother doing something with it again? Because, yeah, anyway, I'm ranting. Ranting on. HA36S. I mean, it's very, very simple. I like the red accents. Very cool. Kind of boring, really, though. But it is a work, so it gets a pass. How do you feel about the S200P trucks? The high jet jumbo. What do you think? Slammed. I like the stickers on the side of it. I think it's quite cool. I would like to see what's next to it over there. It's got a wing on it. I want to see that. Not sure what it is. Moving down, we've got a JF1 N box custom here. All lots of little things here. This is this is much nicer than that. This has kind of got an Optimus Prime look about it. Dig it. DA64W Every. Cool. I don't know why the black bumper works, but it just does. I don't get it. Black bumpers, black sides, because I don't know why that works. But for me, it just does. No idea why. Couldn't explain it. In fact, I should probably do that to the uh, to the white van we've got. Put the side skirts on, black bumper, black black bumpers and black side skirts would probably look great. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking about it. Over we go. What have we got here? L two fifty S mirror, sexy president. Right. We've got a crazy sound system in the back. By the looks of it, I can't actually tell what this thing is. It might be some kind of sound system. I've read it all, but uh, it doesn't actually say what that is. So it's talking about the the rear. In, in the rear they put the front strut, but that doesn't tell me what this is. So yeah, we've gone crazy, crazy over Fender on this thing. Looks sick. If it's not undoable, then it's not going to be K much longer, so don't really dig it. I like the the fact the number plate's been folded up and they've got the tow hook under there. That's slick in my opinion. Down here we've got a JGN1. I have driven an N1 before, didn't like it. This looks cool. I love the wheels. Would like a set of that. It's a chick's car. The thing that I'm getting from this is that the chicks have better cars. Although that is dope. That's kind of undeniable. You really the over the the over fender though. It's kind of looking like an open wheeler. The the way that sticks out that wheel. But anyway, moving over. What have we got? MH twenty three S wagon R. So from Kitabashi San. What have we got? I mean, it's slick. And I think if you were really into the MH twenty three S, you'd be able to see all the cool parts on these. 
but I'm just not, so I don't notice the subtle things. So if I'm flipping past some of these cars and they've got mad custom stuff on it, give me a break. Uh, there, there's a million K cars. I can't possibly know what they all are and what they have standard whatnot. To me, that doesn't look that modified. It could very well be, but yeah, anyway. Moving down, SUV, what have we got? DA64W Every. I mean, we know that's modified because it's jacked right the hell up. Are they 16-inch wheels on this thing? We are going to have a look what size wheels are on it. Well, it would be nice if it said, but there are no numbers in here at all. So it looks like they haven't told us what size wheels they are. If I had to guess, I'd say 16s which is just crazy. I'm not into jack-up style. Over we go. Well, Maker and Shop Booth. K-Brake, very popular brand of stuff. Not really feeling what they have on display there. Butterfly System, we saw them earlier. Kind of like a VIP styling, isn't it? NA Jack. NA Jack got some blinds in the front grill there. Yep, and then who have we got? Hartley. Hartley. Hmm. Hartley might be the brand of aero kit I have for the white van. Hmm. Not really sure. Over we go. Reflect. Big stereo system in it. <clears throat> kind of looks like a PT Cruiser to me. Not really feeling it. Over here, Buan. Buan, that looks like a DA64 to me, is it? Can't really tell. Uh, seven, uh, that's DA17, is it? Wow, they came out all the way back in 2018. Okay, okay, okay. See, I don't know everything. I get things wrong. Moving down, we've got the crazy overfender that shouldn't be in a K car magazine. We have a S660 that's looking super sick down here work have got a couple of cars that 660 with that huge rear wing on the back looks epic that looks great bold world heard of those they do uh air suspension kits for all sorts of things show produce very well known k truck and van modifying company check them out sho-produce.com cool body art lucky if you're into the OEM style go for them because I can't tell what they did to that car okay over we go ideal suspension they do and they do brakes I know that much romanti romanti not really sure what they do looks like they do some sort of over fender for the late model Trucks feel never heard of them, but look at that front bumper. That is cool. I'm feeling it. That looks sick. Side skirts look dope too. Yep, that's epic. HA 36S. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we've got. Ah, oh, is that a um? What is that a Rooks? I can't remember what these bikes are, but geez, I'd love one of these. I really would. They look so good when they're stretched. Love that thing. Is it a looks? Um, uh, that's a Zuma. That's a Zuma. Zuma Custom. Zuma Custom. I'd love one of those. Bit out of my price range of nothing. Don't have the money. Gontaya. Right. Not really sure what they do. Looks like headlights and lights and stuff. Again, another HA36S. This thing looks sick. But I'm liking that one better. Yep. Uh, ESB do wheels. I follow them on Instagram. They put these wheels on everything and they always look sick. They've got a DA62 Every that's got these on them and it looks boss. Superstar wheels. I dig their entire collection. For your collection. The stars with the dish are dope. Especially in the purple. Okay, over we go. Brand new wheel for 2017. And you can't really see them. Well done. Okay, over we go. Oh, wait, we've gone, we've bought multiple pages. There's one, there's another two. I don't think they're very special, personally. That's probably the best one they've got, because it's got a little bit of a dish. But again, I don't see... Oh, we're going further in. 
Yeah, okay, maybe that one's the best one. 660 GT. Dress up and tuning. We've got a laptop and a computer there. So that's not on a... That is that an HA36S, I think. That computer looks familiar, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's an Alto. Okay, over we go. It is an Alto. Look at it. It's Monster Sport. Ha <laughs> ha! Thought so. I thought so. I thought so. So they're tuning. Monster Sport. New generation ECU tuning. Hopefully they have the foresight that when this car becomes popular overseas, they don't run out of chips to chip the ECUs like they did for the EA11R uh, Cappuccino. They probably can't make EA21R chips either. Didn't ask, but yeah, probably not. No foresight. Sell it, then manufacture it. Over we go. Blitz. Blitz are doing... What are we doing with Blitz? Looks like they've got some kind of uh, piggyback system going on here. He looks fairly serious. That's a nice looking HA36S Alto works. Okay, over we go. Yeah, look at that. That is dope. Love the roof mounted wing. We've got all sorts of things. That's the same one. There it is. 36S from J Works. Underside's very bare. I wonder if that's a titanium exhaust. Looks fantastic. Yep. Okay, over we go, over we go. We're running out of time, we're running out of time. Who's tuning here? Ars and Casey Technica. Casey Technica look like they've got a, or page 99, go! Go there to see it. No, we won't go there yet. Ars and Casey Technica. I am aware of Casey Technica. They do stuff. 5AGS. Two pedal. Only two pedals. Um, okay, we're just going to keep cruising. Wheels, some boring wheels. Brake pads. Let's see. No. No. N yeah, okay. No, well, maybe. Depends on the car. Maybe, maybe, no. Definitely not. You're ripping off Watanabe there. No and no for me. Over we go. Okay, that looks dope. That is a ripoff of old style wheels. I don't know how they're allowed to do that. Oh, it's Enki. Nope, there you go. That's why they're allowed to do that because uh, they invented them. Dampers from Blitz. Enki wheels. It's a pretty good combination, in my opinion. Fantastic looking wheels. Fantastic looking car. Over we go. Six. Number six. Why NGK spark plugs? Six. Don't know. Because of something. Over here, we've got more wheels. We've got suspension. We've got... Not sure. Insets. Or insets for the wheels. Brakes. Suspension. Rear axle kit. Over we go. TTD TTA Custom steel wheels. Ah, oh, okay, interesting. Hmm. Would be interesting to get a, a 12 and then stretch it right out and put the K truck tires on it and then try to take it for shuck and see if they accept it. Because the, tr the K truck is only allowed to have the proper light truck tires, so you can't put wider wheels on but if you got custom made steelies you could do that hmm all right over here we are tuning the ha36s 116 horsepower okay but 116 horsepower from that I think that's quite low, personally. If you can get 120 out of a cappuccino, why is this one not as good? They're not tuning it as well. They're still using the H, still using the HT07 Turbo. That is interesting. I'm surprised that bolts on. Did they make a custom intake uh, exhaust manifold for that? I wonder. Doesn't say. 
Well, it might say in here, but we're not going to read it. Yeah, 100, for me, 116 horsepower is quite disappointing. This a newer engine than the F6A, and they couldn't pull more than 116 horsepower out of it? Come on now. Okay, over we go. HKS. Oh, this is like an inset little book. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Flash editor. We're still using F cons and things. These things are from ain't these things are ancient. Uh, flash editor, flash edit F con S. I mean, it works, but it's ancient. Okay, over we go. M type, EC brake pads. Yeah, brake pads are brake pads. Unless you're racing, it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Hartley's here with a nice looking K van. Over we go. A lady with a Copen, the L880K Copen. What do you think? Do you like this Copen or the newer Copen better? I'm not a fan of D Sport because everything you try to order from them is sold out or no longer in production. So, not a fan of D Sport at all. K Style Cup over here. What are we doing? We're going around. 17 cars here. Old mate with uh, crazy big over fenders. We've got Oni Cam and over fenders. I'm not sure if that's the one that they're built in or not, but if it is, I'm not feeling that he won anything at all. Okay, don't know what's so good about that. That's styled really well. I commented on that one. Um, not sure what's cool about that. This was the pop top camper that we looked at earlier. Yep, old mate with the green back wall. Another Lapan. Cool. Over here. Alright, yeah. This is dope. Why didn't we get to see this? This is an L700 Mirror Ute. This is the one we should be looking at. This is dope. I like what they've done there with the colorway. Okay, alright. Okay, okay. And then this guy's got some kind of trailer going on the back with Onicam. Not really sure about that. Hopefully we get to see that in later pages. That's a really... that Your trophy is bigger than the car. Front bumper's dope. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's an HA36, as you can tell by the lights. No, it's not. What the hell? Yo! This is a DA63T, and he's put Alto lights in the front of it. Wow, holy crap, that's a lot of work, damn, alright, hats off sir, over here, what have we got, L, I need to read it, I can't just guess anymore, because I'm wrong, L250V mirror, it's a shame that's cut, that's a nice looking car, and old, old mate over here is with, with the ladies, the smallest trophy, but he got the ladies, I think he's the real winner here, isn't he? I think so. And we've got this one up here. A mirror. Okay. Keep on cruising. Keep on cruising. King of Kings. Another massive trophy. A Hustler. That's looking pretty sick. Again, I wish they did more... Um, spreads of these cars rather than the other ones that we've already seen. Second place. First place is in the middle here. The King of Kings gets big trophies, right? Holy crap. This thing, look at the size of the intercooler on this thing. What is it? MH34S. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Keep cruising. K truck with uh, these sorts of wheels on it. I'm not really a huge fan of that. Over we go. Spiegel are doing. I'm not really sure what those are. But, yep, okay. KC Technica. Custom project, projector lenses maybe, wheels, not really feeling any of those if I'm honest, we've got the CAN bus, the 660 and the uh, HA36S, what a collection for your collection, ooh, these already yet, Has, um, have, um, have the Americans bought those two yet, if, if you own these cars, let us know in the comments. They do look familiar. AZ1, blue cappuccino in the back, and a beat here. 
cool. Oh, this is in Hong Kong. 2,000 meat in Hong Kong. This won't have gone to the USA. This will belong to one of the, uh, the group members. Yeah. Can't remember his name. Okay, over we go. We're gonna get to look. We're gonna get to look at more. I'm Daryl Lee over here. All right, that is a. I can't remember the name of that thing. I can't remember the name of it. Why can't I remember Copio? No. The name of that car has uh, has left my brain. But I really like them. They're like one of the only cars that have got a uh, a trunk looking piece on it very very cool what are we doing here I'm gonna get that wrong if I guess what it is oh okay this bus made it this bus fiberglass stuff made it over to Hong Kong I see there's a guy that lives near my house that has two of these wife drives one and he drives one different two different colorways okay Cruising around, the ladies are in the can bus. Dope. N1 over here. I like what you've done with the front of it with the wood grain there. That looks sick. And the 660. Yep. Okay. Over we go. Over we go. While we're doing more, this is a big event. Wow. Big event. Looking cool here with the, the G are these Genos. Some of them might be. They're mirrors anyway. Yep, yep, yep. AZ1s. There's a couple of those. Some cappuccinos. A couple of beets. Here's the boys. An AZ1. Over here, a midget. Okay. What is that? Is that a smart car? Kind of looks like it. Yeah, I think it is. I think that's a smart car. We've got that thing. That th is that a TRXX? Hmm. Let me know in the comments if I'm getting it wrong. It's a very long video. Over we go. More wheels. You see, most of these wheels look the same, don't you think? Like, there's just not a lot of variety in wheels anymore. Like, don't don't you? F I feel like I've seen these wheels a hundred times flicking through half this book anyway over we go we've got J attitude respect our JDM culture hmm no okay Alta works book case style maker list we're going black and white gonta yeah yep we've done that already with subscriptions advertisements Editor sheet, we're not going to read that. Super Carnival 2017. Pink Lapan. How do you like it? I like the wheels. Cool. What have we got here? This is a hustler. This kind of looks like. Is that where they went? Did they did they finish this and then make that? Because it does. Awfully look like that's what they did. This is an Alto and this isn't, but it, it really does look like. Don't you think? Like they made this and then then made that one. This is the progression. Look at the lights on the back. Yo, it's got a bunny in it. That's sick. Love that. I love that. Oh, I wish I could get some of those for my lap on. Mm, 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 mm. No, no, no. Keep it a daily. Keep it a daily. Do not, do not fuck with it. Okay. Keep on cruising. The JF1 N box. Multi spokes slammed. Yep. Hard not to like it. Green colored wheels. I dig it. I gotta say, green wheels kind of, kind of reminds me of the Hulk, but I am feeling it. So that's getting. The blood pumping. Over here we've got the 660. Daihatsu over here. What else do we have? Yeah, Onicam. Don't know, don't know, dude. Massive stereo in the back. And the life. Oh, sorry, today. The today. Check that out. 
That's very nice. Gone for some grey Sparco seats. Some stylish old school wheels. That's... And a roof racks. That's... Uh, that's a nice car. That might be... That's not my favourite car. I think the Lapan... Lapan might be my favourite because of the tail lights. But, I mean, this has got to be close second. Over we go. Yep, yep, yep. 660. Those wheels are dope. The kind of white wall style. Yep. Feeling it. The interior matches the black and white. Yes. Dig it. Down here, we're kind of jacked up a bit. This is a bit weird. Do we have a Monster Sport? Looks like a Monster Sport intercooler down there. NOS. He's got two... Oh, two NOS tanks in it. Okay. Right. That's what we've done. MK21S. MK21S. Pallet. It's a turbo. And we have NOS. We've got a, a NOS bottle down there in the passenger footwell. And another one just sort of hanging like a sloth from the, the rear like that. It's a weird flex. Radio Wagon R down here. No, sorry. N Wagon over here. We've got a Este. An S or an Esse. Esse. Hey, Esse. They're a weird looking thing. They're kind of wider and longer than they are tall. Which is. They're probably really good on a track, but they look weird when they're OEM. That one looks a bit weird too. But I've never driven one. Would kind of like to. So if you have. If you have an Esse and you'd like to lend it to me so that I can see what it's like and review it, yeah, hit me up. Okay, old love's brought her, her kids in the shot. What do you think? That's a nice little car. Sure, why not? Kind of squarish lines on the bumper there. We've gone for a bonnet that's a bit long to cover up the headlights. Dig it. Okay, what do we got here? It looks like we've just put big wheels and seat covers on. Hey, any modification is a good modification. Make it your own. Make it your own. Over we go. We've got an HA36S. Again, we're not really seeing anything new here. Yep, roof mounted wing. Okay, kids all grown up now. Right, um, yep, 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 yep. Tail lights, bumpers, over fenders, on cam. It's all happening. The detail work on that's pretty nice. Not what I would have, but it looks quite nice. And we've carried the detail underneath the lights as well. Over here, wow, look at this thing. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just let's just pause a second. Yep. All about it. Absolutely all about it. Love it. We've gone for a different coloured engine bay, which I really like. They've done the underside of the hood too, with some graffiti styling there. Massive intercooler in the front. We've got a complicated... Exhort like pie cut. Is it called pie cut? I think it's called pie cut Welded exhaust in the back to make things interesting We've got color-coded wheels that match the Engine bay which is dope. We've got roof racks with a little little bike on tops a bit silly But I mean it kind of adds to the silly look This is dope. We've got the sticker bomb across the front again you might think it's overplayed. I don't. I haven't seen that much of it. They're both dressed the part. This is this is sick. They should have won it. <clears throat> Whatever the competition was, they should have won it. That's the coolest looking car. They've got a fire extinguisher on the A pillar. Dig that. Yes, yes, yes. Over we go. What have we got? Slammed. Dish wheels, dig it. Pink interior, dig it. Nice, okay. Down here, wow, we've done a lot to this thing. Huge Stezza in the back. We've gone for, it looks like skull. Skulls on the roof. Yeah, we've got skull airbrushing on the outside. DA64V. Yeah, okay, cool. Not, the cut, not a standard front bumper on that. Massive wheels. Yes, yes, yes. Feeling it. Liking it. A lot of work done. The blue. Nice. 
over here da 64w doesn't look like a da 64w to me super long front bumper how do you feel about super long front bumpers let me know in the comments down here little suzuki we've put stickers on it we've trimmed the a pillars yeah i mean that's cute that's cute isn't it okay over here the L375S Tanto Custom. Um, the, the wheels are dope. We've got a pink steering wheel cover. How is that a feature? Rear lights are nice. Okay, over we go. Okay. <coughs> a crossover. It's really not though, is it? Is it? That looks like a Lapan. Is that what they've done? It is HE21S Lapan, and they've just jacked it up. What do you think? Oh, it's a mini Hummer. It's not. It's a Lapan, and they've put crossover written on it. How do you feel? I feel violated, and you should know. I'm not not liking it. Ugg boots. She's cute. Car's not. Okay, over we go. <coughs> Copen. Crazy looking stereo install here. Dig it. That looks dope. Would like to see more of that. What have we got over here? Crazy looking interior. We've got gold accents everywhere. Into that sort of thing. That is going to rock your world. Over here, another Wagon R. Wagon R is a very, very popular car. And so is the Tanto. Right? These are nice wheels. Pink steering wheel. Over we go. This magazine is the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? It just keeps going. We're going to be here for hours. But that's okay, because I've got nothing else to do. We've put speakers in the rear tailgate and a massive stezza in the back of this thing. Absolutely slammed. Did they lower it, just take the suspension out, and then fill it full of stereo? Who knows? Can't really see the cast. I mean, the front bumper's different. But I'm not really seeing a hell of a lot of wild custom on that. Still a nice car. Reminds me of like a Mark X. <clears throat> Paintwork on this is rather cool. Looks like they've airbrushed in some flowers maybe. Not really sure. That looks kind of like ink blot. You're going to look at it and, and it's going to reveal something about your personality. Flowers I saw. What do you see when you look at that? Ty like... Frogs, lilies, who knows. MH23S Wagon R. Again, nice car. Can't really see the custom in it. But then I'm not a Wagon R expert. We're just flicking through a magazine. Okay, we've got a lot here. Old Love. Old Love's a, old love's a bit of a fashionista over here with the MC21S Wagon R. We've gone for full bozo style front and rear bumpers that are just over the top. We've got like exhaust pipes that come up. We've got heart shaped covers for the rear tail lights. Um, yep. If you dig it, you dig it. If you don't, you don't. Let me know what you think. Down here, we've got some seat covers. Don't really, not really feeling the custom in that one or in that one. We've got some. That's kind of cool. That gives me an interesting idea. Imagine getting like old kimono, and then using the material to trim stuff. I wonder what that would be like. Hmm. Doing like inserts for doors and stuff in old kimono pattern. Kind of, kind of uh, blasphemy to cut up a kimono though. But if it's already old and ruined. Using the material wouldn't be bad, would it? Hmm. New trend, maybe? Who knows? Find out next time on Garage K. This looks dope. We've got camber. We haven't gone too far. The rear wing is sick. I like rear wings. I don't care if you don't. Um, so, yeah. Okay, over we go. Hello, how you doing? She's all happy about it. It's a nice looking car. We've got orange accents inside of it. White car slammed on black wheels would be nice if I could see a black bonnet on it. But uh, other than that, that's that's a nice looking car. 
Again, another nice looking car. We've kind of used the bumpers to try to box it a little bit. But I'm, I'm kind of feeling like it goes down, down, and then down again, rather than down and then down. So, I don't know. Is that another, is that another Lapan? It is! Another Lapan! We've, we've lowered the crap out of that. I wonder if this thing has IRS. How did they do that? Hmm. Don't know. Find it next time on Garage K. No idea how she did that. I thought they had a solid rear axle. Maybe not. 15 inch wheels. Red interior. White seats. Already covered that. Over here. We've got a white top on it. Interesting. Old American style he wanted. How do you feel? Is that old American style? Did he succeed? He's got white walls. Um, not feeling it personally. But then it's not my car, so it doesn't matter what I think. Down here, gold accents on a white car. Very simple. Super deep dish. Dig it. We've got bolt-on over fender, so it is still K. We've got a massive intercooler. Roll bar, whatnot. Check it out. Dig it. JB1 Life. That's interesting. I was thinking it was a Wagon R from this angle. I must be getting tired. All right. HA36S from Gaga Boy. Yeah, engine room looks clean. It's a clean car, but then it's a fairly new car. So over we go. <coughs> um, I can appreciate the work that went into it, but that's going to be a no from me. Over here, this is EBS wheels. They're on everything nowadays. You can, they're on everything. They look cool. They look good on everything too. Like, it just changes the look of the car. I might have to get some. Mm, 15 by 7 j That's a big wheel. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. HA36S. I couldn't actually tell it was an HA36S. Oh, wait. No, he put an HA36S Alto Works bumper on. No. Okay, I don't know what he's done, personally. Oh, he took an, he took an HA36 Alto Works bumper... And then molded it onto a wagon R. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. I don't particularly like the look of it, but it's not my car. Over we go. Here's the works bumper here. You can see that's what he's done. Yep. Nothing. I mean, it's a works. It's cool on its own. They haven't done anything really drastic to it that I can see. Big wheels. Red seats. Dig it. Looking smooth. Over we go. Orange Lapan. The Copen with scissor doors. How do you feel about scissor doors? I think scissor doors are more overplayed than sticker bomb. Personally. But if you like that sort of thing, you like it, there you go. Do it. Ignore me. Lapan. Uh, the more I see Lapan, the more I like them. This, this ducktail on the top here is cool. The bumpers are cool. The Yeah, everything about that is just cool to me. We're turbo too, by the looks of it, which is sick. We've kept it K. We haven't added over fenders or anything else. Massive intercooler on the front. Yeah, this is dope. What have we got here? An L550S Move Latte. Pink wheels. Yep, I dig pink wheels. Cool. Gold car. Hmm... Yeah, sure. Why not? Something different. EBS. What do we got here? EBS wheels. K-brake. Oh, so this is uh, the shop's maker. Shop booth. EBS. K-brake. Work. Gone tire. Roman Tay. It's all the same brands that we... Garage Ill. I follow Garage Ill on Instagram. They do crazy, crazy stuff with overfenders and on eCam. Interesting. I wonder how they they I wonder if this stuff's removable for Shakan or they just write the cars off. I can't I don't know. Maybe they register the car for two years and then as soon as they drive out of the the registration place start modifying it. Maybe that's what they do. And then drive it for two years and put photos of, on Instagram for two years. Then they just wreck the car. 
Could be, could be, could be. Dad, right? And, and Air Force Japan. Right. Okay, cool. Keep cruising. Oh, hello. PP1 Beat. With EBS wheels on it. NOS Purge here. White seats. Don't dig that. But it does match the styling. Uh, a show car, perhaps. Not a tow gear car. Rear tail lights are dope. Why do I call them rear tail lights? You never have tail lights at the front. They should just be tail lights, shouldn't they? Tail lights are dope. The rear bumper is dope. The wheel choice is dope. The over fenders are dope. Having NOS in the car, even if it's not connected, is pretty dope too. Fast and the Furious style. Paintwork's dope. That's a cool car. Blitz. What a clean underbelly. This is the same stuff we saw earlier, I believe. Over we go. We're lo looking at some older kind of cars. A CN21S Serbo. I saw one of those for sale this morning on Yahoo Auction, and I was thinking... I was thinking I don't need another car. But cool. Over here, what have we got? MH21S and an L700. Okay, and then another lap arm. They just look good, don't they? They look good with wheels. What is it with that? I am putting wheels on mine and I am going to lower it. So, I mean, it might look, it might look tits when I'm finished with it. Who knows? Eye lines. I mean, I can make eye lines, so like eyelids, so I could do that. Yeah, this is. I mean, it just. Um, the more I look at them, the more I like them. It's a bit, bit of a, bit of a problem, bit of a worry. End up selling something so that I can keep that. Nah, probably not. Nothing I have is worth any money, except the cappuccino, and I'm not selling that. So yeah, not nah, lapan's got to go. Right, did we do this page? We didn't. We got some copens over here. Some kind of meeting here. Um, yep, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Over we go. What do we have here? A glance. This has got a slide door on the right side. That's a bit weird. It's got... Wait, it's two doors... Okay, I'm confused. Is this two different cars? Because this has got the door sliding open like that. Oh, wait. Front door opens out normal. Back door opens out as a slide. And there's no pillar. That's what that is. How do you feel about pillarless? It's got a pillar on one side and no pillar on the other. With bench seat in the... F is that a bench seat? Okay, I'm a bit confused by all of this. Um, I don't see the point in having a bench seat if you're pillarless on this side. Separate seats makes more sense. Anyway, over we go. What do you what, what do you think of this thing before we go? It's a nice car, I think. Nice car, I think. Over we go. Honda's Honda's mooganing it. We're mooganing all the things. Moogan's kind of gone to aero kits rather than performance which is a bit disappointing okay over we go sanctuary royal baby yep eye lines or eye lids um, final beast I'm sure it's not the final beast I'm sure they've done it again how do you feel about it? The old DA64 every jacked up to the moon. I guess if you have a use for it, then sure, go for it. It's fu it's going to be functional. You'll probably never stop it. Although a truck would probably be better. G get a Jimny. I, I don't know. Get a Jimny. Over we go. Stealth Kids. Cool wheel choice, I suppose. Kind of boring, but it's a cool. It's cool. We don't have very good fitment on the back, which is a bit disappointing. But we've got adjustable suspension, so keep that up. We need more adjustable suspension in the K world. Over we go. Sense brand, full buck exhaust. 
So oh, this might be full back. Full back exhaust system, not full buck. DA17W every two wheel drive. Yeah, that's going to be a no from me. Right, if we go K car Argus style, I'm not sure what uh, Argus style is. Is Argus, Argus, lift up. Argus, lift up style. Hello. What was I saying? Argus, Argus style, lift up. Lift up style. So that's what that is. Do you like Argus style? I'm not a fan of Argus style. Over here, we've got low down style with Hiromi. That's a very attractive young lady. Look at the shoes. She must be short because she's gone for a, a very tall high heel. Very tall indeed. Fantastic. Wonderful. Looking fantastic. I'm trying, I'm having trouble keeping focus on the car, which is also stunning. Look at that thing. BBS wheels, they've lined up the hubcaps. Dude, they've lined up the little, they're not hubcaps, they're like the center caps. They've lined them up. I bet you when they, the photographer did that, Someone standing by would be, no one's ever going to notice that. And here I am, noticing that they lined up that BBS. This thing looks sweet. I don't know what's custom on it, but geez, it looks nice. And so does she. Over we go. We've got shoes off. Shoes off in the front. That works too. Shoes off in the front. High heels in the back. We know that's a winning combination. We've gone for a full black lower interior with the, the standard gray on top. Classic, classic. Look at this. Beautiful. Fitment, fitment, fitment. That is sick. Okay, style. Yep, it just looks nice, doesn't it? Just looks nice. Okay, over we go. Onicam, not feeling it. Good job car. No, bad job car. Can't drive around car. Um, Itasha, Itasha. We're all Itasha here. Okay, yep, it's all there. Have a good look. M Fess in Ujina. Over we go. New goods information. Bride seat. Right. Okay, lights. Over we go. Present. Over we go. Look, she's here. Wait, this is Inception. How does she end up here if she's on the cover? I have that one. I think I've got. I think I've got all of those. So, <clears throat> Lapa. So look forward to seeing these in future episodes. I think we're running out of magazine here. We've got front bumpers. Aero styling kits for Everies, which is dope. Alto lights and yep, just lights. How expensive are these? Five hundred dollars for LED headlights. How do you feel about it? Over we go. Right, okay. Wheels and tires. Over we go. Seat covers. You know how I feel about that. Not very into it. Over we go. Wheels. K size wheels. Let's just zoom through it. Thousand spoke. Kind of cool. Bit of dish. Liking that. That's a classic pattern. More dish. Eh. Meh. Mmm. Yep, okay, classic pattern, and oh, it's the same wheel, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. Might be, no. No, is it? is it? It is. It's the same wheel. There we go. How do you feel? That's about it. Okay, over we go. Lights, cameras, actions. We've got aero kits here for the Wagon R Stingray. And we are out of magazine. Thank you very much for sticking with me all the way to the end. Kenda, that's actually my choice of tyre for drifting. Uh, 215 in a Kenda is very good for drifting, in my opinion, on the Altezza. That was K-Style 2017 December. There she is. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Again, thank you for staying all the way to the end. I'll see you in the next one. Later.